We're gonna go over how you can stay athletic while training for a marathon. And we're gonna start right now. So the first thing you gotta work on is your actual strength. I think the first thing people forget about when they start doing marathon-based training, because it's so hard, they're not doing the resistance-based training. I learned that pretty early on. That first step was maintain your squats, maintain your single leg squats, and even doing simple things like deadlifts to strengthen your lower back and your hamstrings. So for me, it was resistance-based training, but specifically squat volume can stay the same. Intensity is gonna wane, but the volume, at least once a week, get under the bar, hit those squats, and then once or twice a month, try and push to like a decent double or a decent triple. Not that you're gonna be hitting PRs, but that's gonna help you maintain that athleticism. So another big aspect is that we've gotta identify athleticism, right? So it's like, can we be explosive? Can we do different cuts and run fast as well? And I think that that all has to be defined because it led me into this discussion with John Giacalone from Mobility Doc, where he's like, yo, running's a contact sport. For me to maintain health and athleticism, I've gotta be doing ankle work, stability work. And that brings in the stability roller, warming up on that, working on my ankles, especially after I rolled the shit out of it before I went to Hungary. So I'm making sure my ankles are stable, my feet are strong, and I feel limber from my ankle, knee, hip to help with that contact. And then essentially, that's gonna help me maintain that athleticism. That next one, just crossed half marathon mark. That next one for athleticism though, Paris Khan coming through. He's like, dude, use the sled a little more. And so I had been using the sled for pulling the sled back. Nice and easy, just get the ankles, quads, glutes a little bit. He's like, dude, put in sled toe, like 90 pounds, and you do like a march with it. So we started doing those marches. So now, since then, twice a week, easy marches. It's not gonna beat you up. It's gonna help you conquer those hills. It's gonna help you feel stronger when you're putting force into the ground, which is gonna help with that athleticism. We've gotta be twitchy, we've gotta react quickly. Sled towing, sled pushing, pull backwards, all those things twice a week to keep building that athleticism while you're training for that long distance marathon, endurance, whatever it is that you need to do or that you wanna do. But before that, I got two more bangers. Make sure if you guys need help with your strength work, head over to peakstrength.app. We got a marathon program in there. I'm using that right now as I'm working on that strength, that athleticism. And right now, today, hitting 18 miles while still being twitchy and elastic. Head over to peakstrike.app, the Google Play Store, the Apple iOS Store today for those five free workouts. Two more coming your way now. All right, this one, next one, simple again. I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. Increased protein intake. I have two scoops of plant protein in the morning. I have two scoops of whey protein in the afternoon. I have one scoop of plant at night. I'm eating more fish, I'm eating more chicken, a little bit of beef when the kids want beef. I swear that had a direct impact on maintaining strength levels and helping me to become or maintain that athleticism. I recover better, I can do a little bit more work, and then that's gonna take me to that final key behind making athletic progress or maintaining athleticism while distance running, endurance training, marathon training, whatever it is. All right, I'm heading on the mile 16. Last one, big one. You've gotta do plyometric work. One of the big things for me was, I was doing jumps in these YouTube videos and just noticing like, ah, I'm losing my step, I'm losing my pop. And that was that big trigger. I wanted to keep being able to do those hard series, jam jumps, lynch series, the crazy ones, RB1. And so you've gotta do plyometrics at least once a week. What I've been doing 
40 minute clip of plyos maybe twice a week i'm just doing like 10 to 15 minutes of easy plyos and that goes a long way so to use all these different factors to maintain that athleticism increase it a little bit while you're running use them in your protocols because remember freaks if you want to become a champion you've always got to cultivate your power peace